Hello everyone, it's Toddzilla here again with Joe's Auto War Clan. Uh, we're just fresh off our 25th straight victory here, and I'd like to go over a few attacks that we had uh, in our last war. Um, we'll actually just kind of go over number three here. He was attacked three times in the war by different people in our clan. All three times he was three starred, so we'll maybe start off with the best attack, which is Jesse. We'll take a look at the replay and take a look at the base here. Pause it real quick. You can see it's symmetrical design. Royals just above 10 or at 10. Jesse here ran with a 12 hog, 10 valt, 2 golem attack here with a couple minions sprinkled in just where the air defenses were just to kind of clear up some stuff in case he ran out of time. And then eight wizards and a couple wall breakers to get through the wall. Three heals and a jump to kind of get into the core. So we'll take a peek at how he utilized that. And hopefully it gives you some ideas on how to attack a base limit to this when you see it in a war. As always, first thing you do is Pull your clan CC if it's possible. You know, if it's nothing like a lava hound, you can certainly poison everything down. We'll just fast forward through that. So he releases his two golems here in the bottom corner, creates a wizard funnel. Should use his wall breakers here to get the golems in and then have the ability to jump into the core from that spot. It's a very good placement of his jump spell. And you can see he releases all of his Valkyries, so they'll kind of blast in there right to the core and rip up all the stuff in the middle that's all bunched up. And for those who don't know, the Valkyries will chase after the Queen. If the Queen's attacking something, the Valkyries will shift their attention to go attack the Queen and kill her before they move on to something else. So he's basically got everything in the core right now, his golems, his barb king, the Valkyries are in there wreaking havoc, and then he's sprinkling in the hogs sort of in a surgical fashion just to pick off uh, some of the outer point defenses there, which is a very nice strategy if you know how to do it. You can see he's still got a few Valkyries alive here. They're trying to bust through the walls. They're taking focus of a lot of defense while uh, the hogs are actually taking out some of the other defenses free of getting hit by the defensive buildings. Now they have the Barb King here taking out the Wizard Tower and just two Archer Towers left. And from there, he just breaks through the wall. Queen helps, I believe, on this one archer tower. And from there, it's just clean up. And we have a three star. So we'll take an another look at one of the other ways to attack this base, I believe. Ron Wiz Mexico also three starred base number three. So we'll go to the war events and look at his attack. I believe he was the first one actually to attack number three and he got the three stars as you can see there. So we'll take a look at his replay, see what he used. And he decided to go more along the lines of the Goho Wee Wee from the looks of it, where you use a couple golems, create a funnel with your wizards and throw some witches in there to get into the core and distract a bunch of the defenses. And then I believe he has the four giants there just for point defense purposes, kind of surgical hogs. I haven't reviewed this replay actually, so we'll see what it looks like here. I believe he too was trying to pull the clan castle there, uh, failed with the barbarian. So he sends in his hog, poisons everything down. And he decides to create a really large 
swath with his wizards to create a large funnel. And then he actually chooses to jump into the middle there. It's kind of a brilliant idea because he can get in without using any wall breakers. And this whole section kind of goes around the whole base, encompassing half of it. And the popular thing with the Goho Wee Wee, wherever your kill squad goes in, you basically send your hogs in at a 90 degree angle to take out some of the defenses. Then your hogs will path one direction while your kill squad kind of paths the other direction to take care of the other defenses. Very efficient attack. I use it a lot on my my attacks and I've gotten three stars in under a minute and a half a few times on these. Uh, just heal your hogs as needed. Typically if they don't have a a threat of a double giant bomb anywhere. This is really, really good attack for that. You can see the hogs kind of died out, petered out there at the very end, which is common of an all hog attack if that's where you're still at in your development and using all hogs on a Town Hall 9. You'll notice that those peter out at the very end. So and you see the queen here just trying to bust through the wall. Take out the last couple defenses here. And the wizards actually help take out that other archer tower. And then he too gets 100%. And lastly, I believe Cypher also three starred this base at the very end just for some loot. We'll take a peek at his attack and what he used. He used a similar approach. He's got 11 hogs, 6 Valkyries. I believe he used 3 golems to create a big wave going in and uses his wizards to funnel. He's got a jump spell, 3 heals, and the poisons for the CC. So he pulls the CC just like Ron and Jesse, poisons him down. And he uses a, a three golem approach here in a really wide swath with the wizards. So having those wizards bust down all those buildings really gets the DPS going really quickly. And he uses wall breakers to get in on each corner. I believe he uses a jump spell where his Valkyries end up going. And you can see the Valkyries are actually heading in a different direction until they threw that jump spell down. And then after that, they rerouted and found areas where they could do some damage. I believe he uses some hogs here at the very end to do a surgical approach. You see his kill squad's doing very well with the Valkyries and the Barb King and Golem's still alive there in the, the middle. And now he's starting to use those hogs to take out the rest of the defenses. And he had a nice heal there. I believe the wizard tower was about to attack those hogs and he got that heal off just in time to keep him alive. From there out, the hogs take care of the last couple defenses while his queen DPSs everything down. He's got a few wizards going to help with the DPS here. Let's fast forward through the rest of it. Um, as I said before, we're by all means a professional clan. You can obviously see our attacks aren't surgical in nature, just like somebody such as One Hive. They got theirs down to a science. We're just kind of a group of friends, and you can see we also have success doing it. You don't need to be, you know, precise attacker or anything to get these three stars. So hopefully, you learn something from three different ways to attack the same base. Uh, it's possible to use many different attack types and get three stars at Town Hall 9. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks.